If you come to this location the week of Thanksgiving, it will blow your mind. I mean, thousands and thousands of pies. I don't think they sleep, they just bake. Thanksgiving is our busiest time of the year and we are making about 12 to 15,000 pies that week. To know that we are putting so many pies out of this one small place in Brooklyn and then it's going to go into kitchens or dining room tables all over the city, it's really an amazing feeling. My name is Petra Paredes and I am the owner of Petey's Pie Company. To me, a great pie has a really tender and flavorful crust and the filling is really nice and balanced. Um, so I, I don't want it to just be sweet. If it's a fruit pie, I want it to be sweet and a little tart, just like on, you know, biting into a nice piece of fruit. As a kid, I didn't always know what my friends' parents did. They, they worked in offices. My parents had a pie bakery <laughs> and they made pies. So it was very straightforward and simple. And wherever we went, we brought pies. So um, it's always been such a big deal to us. Even when we went to uh, other restaurants, we would buy pies to try. Thanksgiving was always a really bustling and busy time. I have three siblings. We would stay home from school because my parents were simply too busy to take us to school. And uh, we would work alongside our parents. We were wrapping pies. We were getting pies for orders, uh, greeting customers and, and going back to retrieve their pies. And for us, it felt like a really fun and important thing to do. We were always super exhausted, so we would go to Thanksgiving dinner at my aunt and uncle's house. But for us, just sort of culling down uh, into a few pie selections for Thanksgiving dinner is super tricky. So we would tend to bring usually around like 20 pies. <laughs> We're heading over to the, uh, the Borough Hall Green Market, which is where we're going to pick up some pumpkins. One thing that a lot of people don't know is that when they buy a can of pumpkin at the store, they are typically made with neck pumpkins, which sort of look like a, an elongated butternut squash. It's not the little round orange pumpkins typically that you identify as a pumpkin. They are essentially the same botanically with minor differences. For me, a butternut squash or a blend of butternuts and kabochas, those are the nicest produce to use to make a pumpkin pie. A lot of my recipes come from my dad's recipes as a starting point and then I and then I changed them and but there are some pies that I encountered um, just sort of by chance um, when we first started our bakery my husband told me about the New York Public Library's menu project where they um, where they upload old restaurant menus from New York City and, and beyond one really interesting pie that I kept seeing on these menus was Nestle Road pie it used to be a New York classic uh, pie offering that sort of went extinct and that made me want to um, make my own version of it. Pumpkin pie is the sort of quintessential Thanksgiving pie. I think it's because it's part of that mythology of our, our apocryphal first Thanksgiving. It's a perfect symbol of sharing because it is one dish that we that we cut up and we distribute among the table um, and that sort of circle the, the shape of a pie itself sort of represents wholeness and I think there's a, there's a sort of cultural significance of it being a combination of squash or pumpkins um, that are native to the Americas being blended with European culinary traditions. I've read a lot about pumpkin pies. One of the original proto uh, pumpkin pies may have been a pumpkin that has been hollowed out and with a sweet custard, you know, just a, you know, sugar, eggs, and cream baked inside of it. Way back in history, pie crust was 
often a, a baking vessel. I'm talking, you know, the medieval ages, uh, perhaps. Um, it would be a sort of almost more like a pot that has been made out of flour and water. You could eat it if you had to, but you would more likely eat the contents out of it and then use it again. And um, these days, luckily, we don't have to resort to that. <laughs> and we can make a nice tender buttery crust that, that we actually want to eat. Woohoo! No, I haven't had a pumpkin pie before. I'm excited! I've never had a pumpkin pie before, nor have I ever wanted to have a pumpkin pie. It just does not appeal to me. I've been to a few Thanksgivings, uh, but I normally ate so much of, at the beginning that there wasn't much room left at the end. Yeah, I like pumpkin. Eat pumpkin probably mostly around Halloween. Sometimes in certain foods I eat, they have like a pumpkin that you put in. So I'm the guy to eat some pumpkin pie. You know what I am? I haven't actually tried pumpkin pie before. Um, this is this is new. Halloween is about as close as I get to even seeing the pumpkin all year. If I had to guess what's in a pumpkin pie, obviously the first thing would be pumpkin, but I'm not too sure what else would be in a pie. I'm assuming, uh, we're looking at the base, like, well, obviously bread. Uh, I think there's pumpkin in it. My first guess is going to be some sort of pumpkin or gourd, squash, sugar, hoping butter. I'm going to assume pumpkin, um, and then Cinnamon. Pumpkin and pastry is all from King Corp. As long as it's got that in there, I'll be happy. Okay. How big, how big a bite are we talking? Go for the end. Yeah. I might go crust end because I want like a 50 50. I want like some, you know. Oh, it's so, so moist and squishy. Oh, God, that was easy. Ooh. It's a good pie. It's a good pie. You ain't getting it back. I'm gonna eat it. The pumpkin's not that strong. It's sweet, but not too sweet. The pastry's nice and firm. I like a cold tart. I'm, I'm gonna have another bite. Mmm. Yeah, it's giving, it's giving cheesecake. To test it again, let me see what's the taste in it. That's incredibly tasty. It reminds me of carrot cake. It tastes amazing. I don't even like pumpkin. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. I'm feeling like a American bald headed eagle right now. That's how much I'm loving this pie. Genuinely very tasty. Petey's pies.